we are able now to refer to each column by the name string that we assign to it as its label. So the first column of the group list, we can refer to by the string group. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So here I see if I um, tell it to print that label, I get a series and I can see that it's a panda series when I, if I ask what type of thing it is. Um, there's a, an alternate way to refer to this and that's what's known as dot notation. So instead of putting the uh, index in square brackets, I can um, put the index as a dot. So I will go ahead and do that and I can see I get exactly the same result. The one limitation of doing the dot notation is that um, the name of the series has to be a valid Python object. So for example, we named the, um, the second column number legs, which has a space in it, and that's not a valid um, a Python object name. So we would not be able to say organism info dot number space legs because that basically wouldn't work. We would have to use the square bracket notation. If we want to um, select a particular row, there are two different ways we can do this. The dot loc um, notation allows us to refer to a row by its string index. Um, so if we ask for the, the uh, row that is labeled worm, we can use this or we can use the integer number index and then we would use the iloc, uh, the iloc method. So let's go ahead and run this and we see that the output that we get is actually a series, but it's a series going across the table instead of across the row rather than going down the column. And um, the name of the series is the index string. And we see that it lists both of the things that are found in the row for that particular uh, named row. And we can also uh, refer to an organism by um, its, or refer, refer to a particular cell in the table by using uh, two different commands, the um, at command and the iat command. So iat stands for uh, integer. Um, and so if we use the iat command, then we refer to first the row and then the column. So row two, column one. So zero, one, two, row two should be worm. Column zero, one should be number of legs. So this should output a zero. Let's try running that. And I do indeed get zero. If I want to refer to, um, let's say row one, uh, item zero, I can also refer to it by the row and column names, which would be spider and group. If I want to use that, then I'm going to use the, um, the at operation instead of the i at operation. So let's go ahead and change this. This is going to be spider for the row and group for the column. And I see that I do indeed get arachnid as the value.